contrary to popular belief, I do have friends. And a good friend of me uh, did send this plugin to me and I looked at it and I was like, it's not fully for audio engineering, but heck, why not? Let's take a look. Wat een slechte intro. Non de you. So I'm talking about X, X, X tracks stems. One song in, four stems out. It's a software from Audionamics. Uh, separate to create. Extract stems automatically separate songs into vocals, drums, bass, and remaining music stems for sampling, practice, and more. Now, this is of course a technique that is already possible for a long time, but it always gives some artifacts. And I think that there's a lot to improve, but I'm not sure how far this can go. I'm not sure if it's actually physically possible or physically, like engineeringly possible, uh, to extract, for instance, a vocal out of a mix. There will, there will always be bits missing. Could be, of course, that with AI you can recreate those bits, but I think we're not in that territory yet. So, drag and drop, that's great. AI separation software, oh, okay, so we are in that territory yet. It does fast processing, GPU server separate stem in under a minute, but does it process on my machine then, or in the cloud? Because it, it is subscription based. We'll see. Selectable separation options, four stems, acapella, backings, drums, and bass. Okay, so those are the four ones we can separate. Okay, I'm really interested in what that is going to, to bring us. Refine separations in real time with the de-bleed slider. Okay, separate mono and stereo files, blah, 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 blah. Hearing is believing. Try extract stems free for two days. I only need one hour. Anyway, FAQ. Are we going to read this? Nah. User guide? Nah, getting started. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, requires high-speed internet connection. I think, I, I think, I think it uploads it, yeah. All right, so simple website. They're not really claiming a lot. They're saying that they can separate it. They're not saying it's the highest quality you've ever heard or whatever, so that's good. So let's find it out ourselves um, by taking a look at it. This, this is it. This is the, this is the thing. Okay, so let's try it out by running a track from Daru through it. Of course, Sandstorm, uh, but the title is different. <laughs> uh, it's uploading it right now. And I asked to separate it into four stems. Um, this is the original. Oh yeah, of course. Select audio device. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Main, left, right, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Hello, I've selected main, left, right. Test. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I, uh, I'll uh, fix it myself. This is a bit... Uh, I mean, it should be able to work with... Uh, wow, that's a lot of effort to get this working. Anyway, so we have the whole song here. Looks promising from the waveform. What is it doing with the zoom? Why is it? Okay, okay. Looks, uh, it looks promising. Let's just uh, start here. Let's start at st uh, Let's start at the start. Can I start at the start? Although you gave me your promise that you were never gonna leave, but you did, and you always will. Because I expected a bit more. Let's try a different song. Let's try a different song. So this song. A bit more acoustic, a bit easier. Let's uh, separate this as well. Let's see, uh, let's see what that brings. That was not, the first test was not really impressive. It still sounds the same as the techniques from 15 years old and now claiming that it is AI. It's not the smartest AI, I think. But yeah, let's, uh, 
Let's hope my internet connection keeps running. Every time the vocal comes in, the quality goes down. It's not the baseline, this is just... Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without me, I bet that you can get any sleep. Better like this. In the bed, lying awake. I bet you're cold. This is weird. Like what's the function then? Where can I use this for? For like, of course, it's it's handy when you like need to master something that is, you know, you cannot access the mix anymore for whatever reason. Maybe lost it or something. You can rebalance it then. But then you can also use the rebalancing tool from RX, which you only have to buy once. Let's uh, let's try another one, another song, another song. Let's try another song. Let's uh, let's try it again. Four stems. Maybe also drums. Yeah, it's not not really impressive. There's a lot lot to do. Yeah, if we want this technique to to really work. Other side of the story is of course that like how far can you go with this? Is it like a dream? Is it the holy grail? What is it? But it would be really nice of course if we could really take apart old recordings of which source material is lost and really without quality loss separate things from a stereo track or a stereo mix. I'm really interested also in knowing what the effect of the codec or sound quality would be. Uh, right now I'm uploading a WAV files, uh, uncompressed WAV, I think at 44.1. But what would the difference be with a 48 kilohertz file? And also what would the difference be between 16-bit and 24-bit files? Like, does that help processing like this or not? Th th those are questions that I have and I think you guys can answer that in the comments. Let's zoom out. Uh, let's press play! Oh, correctly recognize that as vocals. Posting pictures on your gram so other people know we more than friends and Ever since you came around, I've met my head Met you at a time when I was so low Went from just talking to taking you home So, one, one of the things that this is, uh, techniques like this are being used is by DJs who need an acapella to make a remix. But I think I've even heard better ones than those. So, extracts, um, check it out yourself. Um, maybe you find a use case for this. I was expecting a bit more, to be honest. I was expecting that, like, in 15 years' time, humanity had come a bit further with these things. Apparently not in this case. And I would love to know what the use case would be for something like this. I think they are really onto something. Uh, user interface is good. The way it works is good. It works very flawlessly. Apart from the fact that I couldn't configure my audio interface to channel 61 and 62. But, but in general, it's, it's great. The only thing that needs work is the actual processing. It, it's just not up to the standard of the rest. But it's still, yeah, un underwhelming to say the least. They don't do any claims on, on, on high quality or whatever. And it's interesting. 
and I would love to see where this is going to be in the future after there has been more development and after the AI has been trained more. Uh, one way to train the AI is of course to show it the separated stems, like the real separated stems and a full audio track so that it can learn from that. But you need a very big data set for that, I think. I am not an AI programmer. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So yeah, with that being said, is this thing snake oil? If you ask me, it is. But it's definitely something that could be developed into something really good. So I would love to know what you guys think. So let me know that in the comments down below while you're there. Don't forget to press the subscribe button in case you like my videos. In case you do not like my videos, press that subscribe button as well so that it unsubscribes. If you like my videos and want to support me, then it's possible by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign, which I'm going to link over here. Another way to support me is by buying my merch like this one or something else. There are also coffee cups. I think. Anyway, last way to support me is by watching more of my videos, so I'll link one of them over here. Thanks a lot for watching, keep pushing, and bye bye.